Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video on Artland, I'm going to be showing you how to draw and color a very easy shark. So I hope you guys get your drawing supplies and your coloring supplies ready for this video, and I hope you get to follow along and enjoy. Now to start off with our easy great white shark, let's begin with the face. So we're going to start right up here, and we're just going to make a nice curved line. So we'll begin here, and we're just going to make a nice line to here. Now right here, we're going to bring this line down. Then we're going to make this line come kind of curve back a little bit. Next right here, we're going to go out with a little bit of a curve. And then we'll curve this to here. Now we want to make the little flippers. We're going to start by drawing a line. We're going to come in and we're just going to bring this down. Then we're just going to come up. We can put another one right here. Just go down and then up to that first flipper. Now let's begin here. We're going to draw a nice long line that's going to slowly start to come up just a little bit. And then we'll put a little point right here, like a little V-shape for one of the little flippers. We'll make the line come back a little farther, and then we'll do another one here. Then we'll just bring this line over. Now let's move on to the top. Let's do that famous shark fin. It's really easy. We're just going to come up here. We're going to curve this over. We're going to bring it down, and then before we go all the way, what I like to do is I like to make a little line that goes in and then out for like a little notch. Then we're going to bring this down. Now I'm going to start in here just a little bit. Instead of starting here, I just like to start in a little bit, and then I'm going to bring this line down to here so it gets nice and skinny. Now when we get to about here, we're going to make the tail. So let's start by drawing a line that's going to come up. And then we're going to go ahead and make a line that goes down. We're going to bring this line in, kind of at an angle. And then we're going to bring this line out at a little bit of an angle. Now, once we have our basic shape, let's go ahead and add some fun details on there. One of the things we'll add is we'll put another little fin right back here. And then let's go ahead and add that eye on here. So we're going to put the eye right about here. I'm going to make a circle. And then I'll put a smaller circle right inside of here. And then this time I'm going to color in this part. Now I know it kind of looks like a cute eye, but actually this is what shark's eyes look like because they roll into the back of their head when they're getting ready to bite at something. Now let's go ahead and add a couple sharp teeth in here. And then I like to add just a little black dot for the nose. Now for the gills, we're going to add some curved lines. So we're just going to make about three or four curved lines here. I'll just go ahead with three. That looks pretty good. Then for some little details, just add a little line on the fin. And then maybe one or two on the tail as well. We can even put a little line on the flipper just for some extra detail. Now 
Now here's your basic, basic drawing of a simple shark. Now I want to show you how to color it, and the coloring is just as easy as it is to draw. Now to color our shark, all we need is three colors, and I'm going to use three different grays. I've got a darker gray, a medium gray, and then a light gray. Now if you have these beyond your markers, I'm going to be using the WG05, WG03, and WG01. But if you don't have those, you can use any three grays, as long as it's a dark, medium, and light. So I always like to start off with the dark one first. Now what we want to do is we want to color right along the top here. I'm going to leave just a tiny bit white at the very top, and then we're going to do just some dark right across here. So you want to start really close to the nose. We're going to leave just that little bit white at the top, and we're just going to color down here. Now I'm going to continue this down, and we're just going to continue making some of these lines right across here. And I always like to come in here and just kind of blend it in. Now right along this line that we drew here, I'm going to make a little bit more of a line there. And then right up here, let's add kind of like a curved shape in here when we color this. And then over here, let's go ahead and color most of this little flipper with that dark gray. And then I'm going to kind of color in a little bit over here too. You can see I left a little bit of white right around the edge. Now after we've done that, I'm going to go with my medium gray. And we're going to use this for more of our shark. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the top of our shark right here. And I'm also going to color in this whole fin up here. Now what I like to do is I like to kind of go ahead and color right over all that dark gray that I've done too, just to kind of help blend everything in. And when I color this in, I'm going to color about halfway down on my shark. So we're just going to color all the way down to about here, and we're going to fill this area in. Now when we get to the tail, I'm going to color in quite a bit of the tail with this color too. So I'm going to get most of the tail at the top, and then I'll leave just a little bit white over on one edge of my shark's tail here. So we're just kind of filling this in. And like I said, you just want to color over some of that dark gray, and that just kind of helps blend all this together. Now I'm going to come in here with my light gray, and I'm going to fill in a little bit more of my shark. So I'm going to color this down, and I'm just going to kind of color over some of that light gray, and I'm just kind of bringing this down a little bit farther, not all the way, but just a little bit farther, and then I'll kind of fill in the tail here with this as well. Now I'm also going to take my medium gray, and I want to color in these fins with my medium gray. So let's go ahead and kind of get these all colored in. And I'm actually going to bring this up just a little bit too, kind of into that big layer of medium gray that I put in there, just so it kind of blends together. Then I'll come back in here with my light gray and just kind of blend some of this. And then right along the bottom here, I'm going to add just a little line of this light gray, just to give it a little bit of a shadow. And then we'll just kind of come in here and just clean up some of these lines. And when you're all done with that, you have a shark all colored out. Now, it's very easy. All we needed was three different colors of gray. And we just did some different blending of all of the colors. Now, if you don't have all these colors, you can use whatever you have. Or even just go with one or two colors and just leave a few more spaces white. But there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this drawing of a shark. Mm -hmm.